Talk about a big announcement. Some Orioles fans have been waiting for this as a flurry of reports indicate the team is soon to trade hands to new ownership. Yeah, this is big news. That deal reportedly worth more than a billion and a half dollars comes on the heels of a hundred plus win season and a deal to keep the team in Baltimore for decades to come. Welcome to the news at 11 everyone. I'm Rick Ritter and I'm Vic Carter. Our media partner the Baltimore Banner confirms an agreement has been reached to sell the Orioles franchise and the team will now be in the hands of an investment group with billionaire and Baltimore native David Rubenstein is the control person for the team and reportedly involves Cal Ripken Jr. WJZ live at 11 o'clock tonight just outside the gates of Oriole Park. Christina Mendez breaks down what's known about the deal and how fans are feeling about this news. Christina. Well, the deal isn't official just yet. The terms maybe have been agreed upon, but still other MLB owners need to give their final seal of approval on this. They're actually meeting next week for their annual meeting in Orlando, Florida, where they will get the details on all of this. Meanwhile, I spoke to several fans tonight who say that this right here could be what exactly the Orioles need to spark this next season. Gotta get the props ready. You know? Reports of an agreement to sell the Baltimore Orioles franchise Tuesday spread excitement Woo! quicker than a play at the plate. I'm gonna to go to Pickles and have a drink to celebrate. Larry Wixulis is one fan celebrating after months of rumors surrounding the Angelos family potentially selling the O's finally became a reality. Just incredible. Our media partner, the Baltimore Banner, reports John Angelos agreed to sell the franchise to an investment group led by billionaire Baltimore native David Rubenstein, as well as Mike Aragotti of New York. The deal is reportedly worth $1.725 billion. The new owners, they need to get to know the fan base a little bit. Come down to Pickles, hang out on opening day, see what it's like. According to the Baltimore Banner, the investment group will also be made up of Maryland leaders, philanthropists, and sports legends, including the Iron man Cal Ripken Jr. Fan Austin Caulfield says he hopes this means the O's aren't going anywhere. They're a staple of the city. They got to stay. Others look for further investments to be made throughout the franchise from player salaries to security around the stadium. What I'd like to say to the players is that we love you. We hope we can keep you as long as we possibly can. And I think with the new ownership and more money, more financial wherewithal and we'll be able to keep the players to keep the court here to build a dynasty here to have multiple world championships in Baltimore. In December a long term lease was approved to keep the O's here at Camden Yards. For CBS News Baltimore I'm Christina Mendez. All right that was Christina Mendez reporting the stadium lease for Camden Yards. If you remember that was hanging over the Orioles 100 win season last year. A shadow on the best season this team has seen in years. After prematurely announcing a deal the night the O's clinched the AL East, CEO John Angelos and Governor Wes Moore officially reached an agreement last month. The deal, which was set to expire at the end of 2023, now keeps the Orioles in Baltimore for 30 years. But there is an option to get out of that deal after 15 years if the team does not get approval to develop land surrounding Camden Yards. The deal also has a no relocation clause, so the team is here to stay where it's been since moving east from St. Louis 70 years ago. So who is David Rubenstein? Well, the 74 year old Baltimore native was first reported as being in talks to buy the team back in December. A lawyer who formerly worked in the Carter administration and businessman. He is co-founder and co-chairman of the Carlisle Group. That's an international private equity firm and Forbes estimates its net worth at three point seven billion dollars. This deal would reportedly give the Orioles some of the richest owners in all of baseball.